Welcome <clears throat> everyone to a very very quick Average Shaman video. Today we are going to be talking about macros and keybinds. Uh, a quick disclaimer, uh, I used to be a clicker. I was a clicker for a very 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 long time. I played, I started originally playing from uh, midway through Wrath all the way up to the start of Warlords of Drano and I was a clicker. And then I took a bit of a break, I came back at the end of BFA and I've pretty much been playing since and I still was a little bit of a clicker. I only got into keybinds properly about a year ago and my game, uh, my gaming capabilities have changed. I am now very competitive in Mythic Plus. Not saying that I wasn't competitive because I was such a good clicker that people just assumed that I had keybinds and macros coming out of my ears. When I actually did tell people that I was a clicker, their first response was like, no, you know, you you, 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 you can't be doing the damage you're doing while clicking. But I, I was just generally, after years and years, it goes. But if you are a clicker, perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I like Some people properly like, treat them like lepers. I think it's personally okay. You play how you want to play. However, I am saying with a couple of keybinds and macros, your game will, it does evolve. It becomes more enjoyable. Now, bear in mind, you can't see my chat box here. That's because I've got it set up to my stream, but you're not really missing anything because that's just my chat. Uh, but what you can see is that I've got a wee Cora. Everyone needs a wee Cora uh, because they just, they're just so good. It keeps track of uh, everything. Uh, see, I've just used uh, Crash Lightning and it's now on cooldown. So I automatically know because you, you're going to be looking where your character is. Uh, some people play more zoomed out. Uh, some people play more zoomed in. Personally, I like to be... I like to feel engrossed. Getting past that. Anyway. Right. So, I used to play with up, down, left, right. Now I play with W, A, S and D. It takes a while to get used to, but it's totally worth it. If you like me and you struggled... One of these bad boys is really, really good. I think I picked it up from about... I picked it up on Amazon. It's just a pad that you rest your wrist on. It cost me like three quid, I think. And I did the same with my mouse pad. It's got a bit of a rest here and it just helps me. But, going on to macros. I have a special mouse, if I can pull it out, with things on the side. It has... One, two, three, all the way up to numbers 12 on the side. It is not a special mouse by any stretch of the words. It is very cheap. It's off Amazon. I mean, it does uh, flash and stuff like that. But, yeah, numbers on the side and it flashes and stuff like that. Uh, it's about a tenner. It's, you, you, there is better ones. It's the cheap version of a Razer mouse. That's all I know. There's a Razer mouse that apparently is top tier this is the 12 i think i think i paid actually 22 pound for this off amazon very cheap but yeah so i don't actually use my number pads on top of my keyboard i use it on my mouse so bear that in mind when i am talking about what keybinds i've got keybinded and were because i use all my pretty much all my abilities or if i click of the thumb or shift uh e shift q shift r shift f so it's all it's either these three fingers that I use, hello, like my thumb, my index, my middle, and my pinky to click shift and alt, to click shift. You get used to it. it I did get pinky cramp. I'm going to be honest, pinky cramp is real when I was learning it, but now my pinky is made out of iron, and it's got a six pack on it. But apart from that, click right, scroll up and down, and my fingers. So we're just going to get straight into it. I've got... My main ability, Storm Strike on E. This is because it's right next to W and I use my index finger to click it. I spam that. If you catch me on stream, I'll, you'll hear this. I mean, there's no target, but you'll literally hear this. Then Q is obviously when you get hot hands proc or when it's off cooldown. I'm sort of running this build in the minute, so hot hands you will be spamming Q a lot. Then R is my crash lightning. F is my sundering. So I usually go... I usually do an R nerve, R, F, uh, E, and and so on. But uh, and that and that's my rotation. My flame shock is keybound to one. 
my frost shock is key bound to two. My interrupt is key bound three because I wanted my interrupt to be really ready. I didn't want to be like have an obscure and like control uh, cue or sort of something like that. I just wanted it as number three right off the bat. I've also key bound my scroll up and scroll down. My scroll up is to he is to heal. It's shift, so I can still scroll in and out, uh, bog standard. But then if I click shift and scroll up, that's my healing surge. Shift, scroll down, that's my cooldown there. And then shift, middle button click is my chain heal. I very rarely use the chain heal one, but it is good in like some mythic pluses. So it's always worth having a keybound. Apart from that, my main, my main keybind's off that. Capacitor Totem is keybind 4 for me, because I really like it being out there really quick. Uh, 5 and 6, 5 being my Feral Spirit, 6 being my Earth Mine, Shift E being my Fire Nova, but bear in mind, Shift E is usually my Elemental Blast or Ascendance if I have it, because obviously they're your big ones, and Shift E is right close, so you can just whack that uh, Elemental Blast out really, really easily. Uh, 9 is my Potions, 7 is Bloodlust, 8 is Blood Fury. Apart from that, that's pretty much it. I do have like Alt F, Alt 4 for Spirit Walk and, and stuff like that. And then I've got Shift 5, Shift 6, Alt 1, uh, Shift 4 for my Totems and stuff like that. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's totally up to you how you map it. The only advice I can give you is it is really worth having your main abilities around the W, A, S and D. So it's E, Q, F, R. You know, and then you've got Shift R, Shift F. For your covenant abilities, uh, I can't express that enough. In terms of macros, I do have some. There's a lovely little thing here called macros. Now, if I go on to Dersey specific, that's my character. I've got ascendance. It's sh hashtag show tooltip ascendance, and then it's use thirteen. What I did with it is thirteen. I had my uh, where's my trinket gone? It was. Uh, the inscrutable quantum device is 13. This is all the top trinket is always slot 13. The bottom trinket is always slot 14. So if you're going to make a macro that's something like this, where you want to link some abilities without pressing two buttons, it's beautiful. It, I think it works up to three abilities, but then you've really got to get a cast sequence going after that. Uh, I'll show you a cast sequence uh, after it. it you, you just got to repeatedly click the button, and then you'll do it. Uh, some people have the rotation on cast sequences, so they'll just keep pressing that one button. But I, I mean, personally, to me, that that just takes kind of the the, the 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 fun out of it. But anyway, so I've got that, and then there's ma mouse over macros, which are really really good because then you don't have to click on the enemy; you can just spam them. This is good for uh, explosive weeks or just in case you know you just you just you like mouse over macros. I switch them out on explosive weeks. I do not use them on normal weeks. That's because uh, sometimes I just get a bit carried away and I click something and then I forget. But it's just literally hash, hash show tooltip slash cast bracket target equals mouse over end bracket flame shock. And then that'll do it. You can get that off. Uh, I think I got it off icy veins. You just copy and paste and you change it how you want. Same with the frost shock. Uh, I'll have a... I'll show you my uh, my cast sequence. I've got a cast sequence which is for weapons and shield because I got tired of keep hafting to put my shield and my weapons on. So I've also made this a macro. So and I've also keybound it. So what I'll do, my keybind, it's number twelve for me. So I'll click it once. That's my weapon. Click it twice. That's my other weapon. Click it a third time. That's my shield. You very rarely have to cast it, especially in Mythic Plus. I cast it once. Yeah, you'll get. I'll get an icon there, and I'll just literally three clicks, uh, and it's done. So it just, it, it just, it, it saves me microseconds, if that. But you can get cast sequences for abilities. It's just I don't use them because they. I find them a bit. Uh, I find them a little bit finicky and you've got to kind of tailor them to the group. You've got to tailor them to the dungeon, the raid, the boss, which requires an understanding of boss mechanics that, to be honest, I I, I really don't have. But it, it is worth keybinding. Now, if you are like me with keybinds, you don't really want to go for all this. There is a lovely, quick keybind mode. I'll show you this again. It's here. Click that button and then all this lights up. 
And then, for example, say if I wanted to switch my, my flame shot to two, I click two on it, and it's done. And then it's vice versa with that. I'm going to change it back. So that's one, that's two, but if you've got a, you know, your action boys, LVI, you know, if you're using LVI, that's fine. You, it, it does it the same. You've just got to make sure that you've got your action boys, uh, you know, that you can see your action boys. Uh, so it's worth putting them on the action bar. Then you can actually get rid of them. Uh, but it key binds the action bar, not the ability, guys. It does. You've got to be aware of that. So no matter what I go, that will always be key bind one. It key binds the action bar. So I can switch this out and that you see, you can see, I'll even remove that, that is still number one. So if I go in here, I go into my spells, where's flame shock? I've totally forgot where flame shock is. Put flame shock there, you can still see it's still set its key bind one. It is not the spell, it is the action bar slot that it key binds. So just bear with just bear with that and then uh, use your uh, action bars uh, accordingly because I've got action bars all the way up here, all the way there. Uh, you know, I'd have, I personally, I'd have more action bars if I could. I'd have another one maybe here, uh, but they're totally out. Yeah. Apart from that, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about with, with action bars and keybinds and macros. There's not much uh, more information I can give you apart from if you if you are interested. Icy Veins do have some good ones. They have some uh, very simple ones. Uh, Wowhead has some more complicated ones. And if you just literally simply Google uh, Enhancement Shaman Macros, uh, there, there's a few websites out there that have really, really complicated ones. And I just think, personally, if your macros are over that complicated, you shouldn't be using them. But that's just me. I'm a simple guy. I'm an average player. I am an average shaman. I like the simple ones. Uh, mouse over macros and, and stuff like that are absolutely fine. Uh, for a little bit of a thing as well, you can do uh, cursor like this. Show cursor. So it'll cast where I cast it. So if I go shift 4, uh, no, that's another one. Uh, there we go. That's the cursor macro. My cursor is there. I use my capacitator. I just literally click 4. So it's, it's, it's really good uh, and, it, and it is... Uh, it's definitely worth using some of them, especially the curses and mouse over macros. They are very good, especially with the capacity totem guys. Uh, that should definitely be on a cursor. You shouldn't be planting that because then you can just literally uh, whack. You know, if the the massive group come in there, you can just literally whack it down here. You'll stun them all, and it just gives you the, the time. Uh, apart from that, that is actually everything. Uh, you know that I needed to say. If I have missed, or if you feel like I've missed anything, feel free to comment, then I can always add it into the video. But apart from that, with regards to myself and how I use Kurt mac macros and keybinds, that's pretty much it. I hope you found the video uh, useful. I hope you liked it. I do apologise if it wasn't that interesting, but I, I think it will help some people out there. Uh, because I wish that I had a video like this when I was learning. Uh, because I had to semi-learn it all to myself, which is is probably better, but, you know, this uh, this will actually help. Uh, all, if you did find my video interesting, you do like the way I pr approach things and, and do stuff and, and or whatnot, I do have a Discord, feel free to join. All the details are in my YouTube channel. Uh, there is links uh, and so on. Uh, same with my Twitch. I stream fairly regularly. It would be lovely to have you on board if you do find this. So, always like... Always subscribe if you want to. Have a cracking day. Average Shaman. Out. Thank you.